Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from MyWienerYourMouth.com. And together, the three of us, we are Mark Woodman's Breakfast Club. Welcome, boy. Good morning. Good morning, Homer. How you doing? I'm good. What are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing with your, with your pipe there? I'm, I'm checking in for oh. spiders. Spiders and desperies. Huh. So, um, hey, um, I forgot to tell you a story. Did you? Okay. This week, the week that you're watching this, I am in Michigan, which is, I, I'm really excited about this trip. Um, I'm a part of the Architectural Woodwork Institute um, as the chairman of the Speakers Bureau, and this is the week of the, the leadership uh, conference, and so we're doing training with a bunch of people that are interested in doing courses for architects, mm -hmm. um, you know, a AIA, uh, CEU <laughs> courses. A lot of three-letter acronyms or uh, TLAs, um, but it, it reminds me uh, that I didn't share the story about what happened in Los Angeles. So, beginning of May, I was in LA for a week, and um, I was there shooting a video for my company in Hollywood, which in and of itself was really exciting to be on a Hollywood all to, be, to be on a video <laughs> a video shoot. In Hollywood, California, um, but one of, the, makeup artist. one of the things I wanted to do while I was there was um, visit a couple places that I hadn't been able to get to because of their proximity to downtown. Whenever I get to, to California, to LA, I'm rarely able to get downtown, and uh, Why? because it's so far away. Uh, I'm normally down in Torrance mm -hmm. or in Long Beach and areas that are south of, uh, of LAX and south of the city. And when you're on the beach south of LAX, it's difficult to get northeast of LAX to downtown Los Angeles. Um, it may only be 20 miles, mm -hmm. but that's like two hours right. each, each direction. Right. It just isn't practical. So anyway... Um, I, I picked up one of my co-workers and we had on Sunday several hours to kill before picking up our next co-worker at the airport and I also wanted to kind of get the lay of the land because the next day we were going to be going to do this video shoot and so uh, as we're heading out towards downtown I thought I'm going to check to see if this place is open and they are and so we're going. So we went to Eric Greenspan's Grilled Cheese Restaurant. So it's, gr it's uh, Greenspan's Grilled Cheese. Who's Eric Greenspan, you ask? President well, of the Fed. That's almost right, but not at all. The president? He Chairman? Is, he is a big, che he is a big cheese. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll link to a video of Eric's in the doobly-doo. Eric had a really short-lived video series on YouTube about grilled cheese and what he was doing in that video series was he would go to a local restaurant kind of like diners drive-ins and dive style uh -huh. he'd go to discover what their specialty is and then he would use that as influence to making a special grilled cheese sandwich which he would then share with the, the owners or the operators of these restaurants through that video series I discovered several awesome restaurants in Los Angeles, including one that is known, a Mexican place, known for their moles. They have like 20 different mole sauces um, that, they, that they make, and a uh, fantastic uh, restaurant. So anyway, we're going to go to this, this place. We show up, um, park in the only parking spot that's available on this street. The only spot. And as I park, there's a guy just ahead of me in a valet stand, standing there, and he says, can't park there. Why can't I park there? I walk over to the meter. It's a five-minute max on the meter. Oh, I guess I can't park here. So I'm going to valley park my car. Then we go to Greenspan's Grilled Cheese, which is a really small place. You walk in, and there's a, a front counter there that's maybe maybe 10 feet wide, but it's got stuff on it. So you got a little teeny two-foot section that you stand and you order from. Above you is a, a, a board that tells you what the, the foods are. There's a couple tables inside, a couple tables just outside, and then a hallway that leads past the kitchen. The kitchen kind of reminds me of like a subway kind of a kitchen, but mm -hmm. it's laid out this direction instead of out in front of you. 
And you can walk alongside of it to get to the bathroom, and there's a little about, you know, six inch sh shelf with some bar stools. So you can get your food and kind of lean on the, on the shelf right. and have your lunch. Um, fortunately, there weren't a ton of people there, but that uh, also included Mr. Greenspan. He was not there. Mm. So I was kind of bummed that I didn't get to meet Eric. The guy's got a huge personality. I mean, you'll see, you see him on these videos, and, and he also has competed on uh, Food Network. He was a competitor Iron on Iron Chef. He was a competitor with a bunch of other um, uh, celebrity chefs to be an Iron Chef, right? Um, so I order, go back outside where we have found a table to have lunch, and I'm waiting for my food. And so I'm checking in on um, on Yelp, and bloop, you get a free s'more. So I go back in, and I show the guy my Yelp thing, and uh, he's entering my order for my free s'more. I don't know why. I don't really care for s'mores. I don't care for um, for milk chocolate for some reason. Care for it's free though. Free's good. So uh, um, also admit you were intrigued and, to see if they did s'mores differently. Well, that's true. That's true. They, what what flavor of cheese was on it. That's true. Turns out chocolate flavored cheese <laughs> was the cheese. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking the guy while I'm at the counter there if they have any t-shirts because he's got a really cool t-shirt on and uh, he says no. He said um, we only had a few t-shirts and they are on our new food truck which just launched today. So the day we were there was the first day of the food truck. So of course Eric isn't in the restaurant. He's on the food truck, right? Right. So I finished up with this order, and I and as I'm finishing up, I'm hearing a laugh behind me at the door that I know, and I turn, and it's Eric Greenspan. He's coming in after a successful day on the food truck. So he's talking to a guy who's sitting outside at a table next to our table, and it turns out that guy's an employee. So as I come out, they are wrapping up their conversation, and he looks at me and smiles and says something, you know, welcoming. And I said, hey, do you mind if I geek out a little bit and get a picture with you? And he goes, ah, sure, absolutely. So while I'm getting my phone out, he goes, where are you from? North Carolina? So you're moving here? Nope, I'm here on business. And um, said, I'm a big fan. We snap a picture. He thanks us for joining his restaurant for the, the evening, and then he's gone. I have no idea where he has gone. He's gone. Um, we eat. Food is fantastic. We eat the s'more. It's a s'more. I, I'm done, and I have chocolate all over my fingers. I don't care enough to eat this chocolate. I mean, I'm not licking my fingers off. I have hardly enough napkins. So I say to my coworker, hey, I'll be right back. I'm going to go wash my hands. So I go down this little hallway into the to the restroom, and as I come out of the restroom, I'm walking past the door of the kitchen, and I hear, "Hey, North Carolina," <laughs> and I turn, and there Eric is standing in the doorway, and he says, "So what did you think?" And I said, "Oh, it was fantastic." Now here's the thing: I ordered a sandwich that they call the Champ, and the Champ is the grilled cheese sandwich that put him on the map. He entered a couple contests with it. And blew everybody away. And here, and this is weird, but you got to stick with me because together, these ingredients are amazing. It begins with raisin bread. I'm out. <laughs> I'm already out. Now, one of the things that he talks about, and again, I'll, I'll link this in the video below, is that his grilled cheese sandwiches. The secret is you start with mediocre bread. So the problem with most people is they get an artesian bread, something that's really expensive, really nice very yeasty with lots of holes in it. And he said, that is not conducive to a good cheese melt. So you start with a mediocre cheese. Bread. Uh, bread. The cheese that he puts on it is called, gosh, I always forget this, Taleggio. Taleggio is, is already a soft cheese, so it's, it's almost already melted when they put it on the sandwich. Um, they then put a, a blend of apricot I'm and capers. <laughs> I'm double out, triple out. <laughs> no. They also have on this an, a, an oven-dried or oven-roasted tomato. Now, uh, again, the point of this is rather than putting sun-dried tomatoes, which are kind of leathery, or fresh tomatoes, which are too wet, they, they essentially begin to dehydrate them in the oven, and that, that goes on. It's absolutely perfect. 
but to top all this off, it's got um, short rib meat. Now, just enough short rib meat to taste short rib meat, not so much to make it a steak sandwich or a meat sandwich. So, I tell them, it's fantastic. I mean, it was really, really a spectacular sandwich. Except for the raisin bread and the, <laughs> Stop. And the capers. So then I tell them, I said, um, you know, I, I, I got to tell you, I really am a big fan, I'm, and I miss your YouTube uh, contributions. They introduced me to a lot of great restaurants, and I really appreciate it. He goes, did you go to the Thai restaurant? I said, no, Thai restaurant? He goes, yeah, I went to a Thai place. I come to find out that uh, whoever owns the video, which I think is Tasted, Mm -hmm. They have, for whatever reason, they have made that video private. You can't mm -hmm. view it anymore. But I did find it elsewhere on the internet, so I did get to watch it after all. But I didn't see that one. So he tells me, he goes, do you like spicy food? I said, oh yeah. He goes, I don't. <laughs> and he goes, I got to tell you, it's the spiciest food I've ever eaten. He said, you look on the menu for anything that doesn't say spicy, and it's going to be spicy. Mm -hmm. And he said, if it says spicy, you, you don't even want to touch it. And I said, well, I appreciate that. I'll, I'll check that out. That sounds good to me. And then he said, um, oh, and I said, you know, I was, a little, I was a little bummed. I was hoping to pick up a T-shirt while I was here, but I, I understand that you have them on, the, on your food truck. He goes, yeah, we did. He goes, we didn't have many. And um, he goes, well, what size are you? And I said, I'm 3X. And he goes, follow me. So he takes me into the kitchen, up a couple stairs to a back area, a little office area, and there is the t-shirt he just took off. And he said, I wear a 3X. If you don't mind a used shirt, you can have this one. So I have Eric Greenspan's DNA. <laughs> Actually, I've washed it already. It's, I'm, I'm thrilled to have this shirt. The, the dude gave me the shirt off his back. I mean, how much cooler could that be? If only I had thought to say, thanks, Mean Joe. That would have just completed that story. He doesn't. Yeah, anyway, so then he says, hey, have you got another minute? I said, sure. And there in his office, there's this huge oak uh, walk-in freezer door. He opens up the door, and we walk out on a basically a, a patio restaurant. He open stepped out into Narnia? We stepped into, Ar into Narnia. Open air, there's some lights strung, and there's plants, and there's candles, and there's music playing and folks standing around talking and laughing. And, and it's a whole other restaurant that he owns. And the only way to get to it is going through the grilled cheese place, slipping through the back, through the kitchen, through his office. And it's a speakeasy. Now, it's, it's known. I, I sense have gone and, and it's on Yelp. And, it, and there's been all kinds of, uh, of articles written about it. But uh, we didn't get to get back to eat there. So now, imagine all this. Hey, I'm going to go wash my hands. The next thing I know, I'm gone for 15 minutes. So yeah. I finally make it back out of the place with clean hands and a t-shirt. But my coworker thought that I must have had some kind of uh, problem. But what a thrill. And, and, and what a genuinely cool guy Mr. Eric Greenspan is. So if you get to Los Angeles, I highly recommend get the champ at Greenspan's Grilled Cheese. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Did you make it to the Thai place? I didn't make it to the Thai place. There was another place I wanted to go to, which is a deep dish pizza place that uh, one of the guys on Instagram recommended to me. I yeah. got there only to find out that it's a takeout and delivery only place. Ah. There was no restaurant to speak of. It's a, a warehouse. And I tried, but they said it would take an hour even to get something to then take an hour back to our hotel. That wasn't going to work, so... Maybe maybe on another visit. So with that, let's wrap this up, boy. All right. <laughs> As you uh, notice, we're trying to make these shorter. I'm not sure how successful we were at that. You're good. Good catch. Just pop. Um, anyway, I, I'm, I'm curious. What's what's the favorite, the best grilled cheese you've ever had? What was on it? What kind of cheese? What kind of bread? I can tell you what wasn't on it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a great week, guys. We'll talk to you again next week. Bye, guys.